Hi, this is Steve Landau from Touch Graphics, here to demonstrate our new talking tactile surface prototype. This is a plastic map, 3 eighths of an inch thick, that has been created using acrylic plastic. It doesn't have any electronics in it, but it does have some metal discs on the bottom surface. And those metal discs can touch the surface of my tablet here. And as they do, they can trigger um, some audio descriptions that I've programmed this to say. So, for example, if I just touch the tablet here and listen to what it says. Talking map. It says talking map. Talking map. If I press it here. Room 101. So each one of these blue rectangles has been programmed to speak the name of a room when it's touched by a person. Now normally, an acrylic surface like this laid onto a tablet would prevent the touchscreen from working altogether because it's too thick and the screen can't sense the finger through that material. So we can now, however, place this version onto the application, being careful to line it up perfectly with 101. the image. Room 102. And now I can press these rooms 101. right on the tactile map and hear what they are. And you also notice that the room number is changing color as I do that. So as I press 102, and two. The number changes color. So that gives you a little bit of a, of, a vi of a visual indication of what's going on also. Now that part, in the, that part there represents the you are here marker. That's where the map is theoretically installed. And that shows up as a great big cylinder like that. And as we touch the cylinder, it changes color too. Room 101. Talking map. Room 101. Lobby. Now that's you the room. Here. That's the room where the talking map is located. Lobby. So when you're you are here. looking at the map, you are there. Now we can also touch this dotted line out here that says street. Main street. And it again changes color as I touch it. And that's because I've removed a little bit of the paint in the areas where the color is to come through so that the visuals from the tablet below can be seen through the three-eighths of an inch of plastic material. Main Street, ramp, room 100, room 100, lobby, talking map, Main Street, ramp, Main Street. We see this as a potentially uh, important advance in the state of the art because in the past it's been very expensive to make uh, interactive tactile displays, particularly ones that have to be robust enough to place in public spaces. And the methods that have been used up to now have involved uh, using hardwired uh, connections between individual painted zones on a tactile map or model with a, uh, a sensor, a device that could then communicate with the computer and, and let the computer know when a zone has been touched. But that results in a very large amount of, uh, of wiring and external devices that can break down and that, have expensive, that, that are expensive and that just add a lot of complexity. With this approach, we can just take a tablet computer, um, create a, 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 an over an overlay frame for the uh, tablet and uh, completely hide the tablet uh, inside that frame and take power from inside there as well and create a very uh, e economical and compact uh, desktop uh, model of this map that could be placed in a reception area or could be mounted on a wall uh, for uh, easy access to any passerby. Uh, in addition, we see many other commercial applications for this technology, including the control of appliances and uh, other uh, uh, machinery where it's desirable to be able to interact uh, with something with either uh, impaired vision or uh, uh, distracted vision in the case of driving. And so we do see a, a lot of uh, potential applications for this, and therefore this uh, technology is the subject of a patent. And um, 
if you would like information about uh, licensing the technology or collaborating on uh, product implementation, please contact me at sl at touchgraphics.com. Thank you.